We begin this hour with education news. Tonight, during its monthly meeting, the Kern High School District Board made five new appointments, including a new position in KHSD's Equity and Inclusion Department. 17's Jenny Ha was at that meeting and files this report. You guys do know that most corporations are getting rid of that particular department, right? Opposition by some community members made vocal Tuesday night at the monthly Kern High School District Board meeting. The particular department in question, the district's Equity and Inclusion Department, now in its third year. The board appointed Rebecca Banky as the department's coordinator. Per a KHSD spokesperson, the Equity and Inclusion Coordinator position is a new one for additional department support. So many of the corporations today are getting rid of that department because that department has caused more problems than you can shake a stick at. And they, they're, they're finding out that there really isn't anybody who's a quote expert on uh, inclusion and, and, and uh, diversity. Local conservative talk radio host Terry Maxwell, who says he attended as a concerned citizen, says he's not at all a supporter of the department. The starting salary for the coordinator position is nearly $10,000 per month. It's a year-long contract and the coordinator will assist with several branches of the department, like the Equity and Inclusion Advisory Council and Parent Advisory Committees, like the African American Parent Advisory Council. Another topic in the hot seat, the district's upcoming implementation of a state-mandated ethnic studies program. I see this as a political move to enhance segregation amongst today's youth. KHSD has been developing a curriculum since 2020. A presentation to the board last month says there will be a specific focus on four subgroups, African Americans, Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders, Latinx Americans and Native Americans. Graduate from high school and go take ethnic studies and get a college degree in it. Does it, you don't, it, doesn't, it doesn't belong in high school. High school is where you go and hey, you have a really good time, you have friends, you go to the prom. The total opposite, I think high school is, is the perfect place. Now, I think in elementary school, right, we, we were learning our basic functions, how to read, write. Uh, then I feel like ethnic studies isn't anti-U.S. history. It's celebrating the accomplishments, it's celebrating the contributions that ethnic communities in America have contributed to that history. Jenny Ha, 17 News. And for a list of the board's other appointments this evening, you can go to our website, kget.com.